There we were, heading east across the Atlantic Ocean, stowaways on a giant airborne fortress. Though time was short, we made sure to study up on our unknowing host, Arpeggio. While attending a prestigious boarding school, the young Arpeggio excelled in all subjects, but he never managed to keep up with the other boys physically. Sadly, his wings, due to their small size, were useless for flight. Furious at his feeble body, he focused his powerful mind to search for a cure in the works of the Italian Renaissance masters. Their notebooks provided the springboard for this sinister young genius, and it wasn't long before the claw gang took him on as chief inventor. His talents must have been at work repurposing all the clockwork parts for their criminal schemes, and now this mastermind is in possession of all the parts. It's only a matter of time before he puts them back together, and when that happens, well, I'm not going to let that happen. Sly Cooper and the gang in Anatomy, Anatomy for, for disaster. disaster. Anatomy for Disaster, Saster, Saster. It sounds like something, actually, it sounds like something from my Metallica song. I mean, I know you don't really like Metallica, but, I mean. Uh, seriously. yeah. They do seem like vaguely referential. And we have these nerds here. And also, these coins have Arpeggio's logo on them for some reason. So it, I guess that means that these coins only work on the blimp. That isn't what, yeah, that is what you want to do. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you almost fell down. Actually, can you fall down and Yes. Die? Well, not die, but take damage. Oh, it's like the water then. Yeah, exactly. So yeah, this place is a bit dangerous, as you might tell. It's also really, really big. So, the thing about this area is that there are like three ways to get up to the second level. There are two levels, this is the lower level and then there's the upper level. If you're playing a Sly, you can get up, you have access to all of the three uh, uh, routes to the third level, to the second level. But, if you're playing as Bentley or as Murray, then you have to use a ramp to get up there. And well, I... At least you don't have to do any bullshit. And or break out. Um, like, there is ways to get there, it's not artificially constrained. No. Well, I mean, like, it's kind of hard just to know how to get up there, but yeah, otherwise you're right, I think. Also, these guys are jerks. I mean, so these guys are really big jerks, actually, because of that jetpack they have. Because if you stand close to them while they fire up their jetpack, you take damage, and they will always use their jetpack when they get up. So, yeah. Fun times. They, these guys also have another trick. They also shoot, shoot those laser things from the second level. The second mission. Uh, second level, whatever. Episode. Large magnetic fields radiating from inside that blimp. If Arpeggio's already started reassembling clockwork, that's where you'll find him. Sounds good. I'm on my way. Don't waste any time here, Sly. Get to the blimp and take some recon photos. Oh yeah, recon photos. Yeah, we haven't take, talk, taken those in a while, I suppose. Relax. Baby. Although I don't really need, understand why we need to take the recon photos, but yeah. Because the game needs to pad out its length. I mean, because <laughs> you need to know. Very important information. Yeah, this is a blimp off to the side. It's not really important except for this one mission. There, there are not even any bottles on this blimp, actually. Interestingly enough. Oh, so you can actually see the town in the background. I don't know what. Ooh, interesting. I don't know what town that is supposed to be. Maybe, I mean, we're technically. I think we're supposed to be over the Atlantic at 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 this time. There are no cities in the Atlantic. Yeah, 
Well, it may, could be... Atlantis. Well, it's an ocean, but there are not exactly many islands in the middle. Calm down, Bentley. He might be in one piece, but he doesn't appear to be, you know, alive. Let's stick to the format here. How about some recon photos? You're right. We need to be informed to create a plan of action. Try to get a shot of Clockwork's head, a mech egg, and one of those spinning magnetic inducers. They seem important to the procedure, but stay away from the guards. If you get detected, we won't have time for a second chance. These magnetic inducers seem to be holding the clockwork parts together. So these guards, you cannot actually kill these guards. At all. The reason, f the reason for that is for a part later in the mission, where you, you see those, you see those blue things at their in their pockets. Yeah. For some reason, they show up, even though they're not supposed to show up at this time. Eggs. I'm sensing radioactivity from it. Yeah, Man, I'm hungry. I want some eggs? You can't make an omelet without breaking a few eggs. Mech eggs, that is. Haha. <laughs> well, now I want some omelets. But, but yeah, these guards... The, th the thing about... They have important stuff in their pocket, but you can't take it right now. It's for the next part of the mission. So... so you just pickpocket them for cash. Yeah. But you cannot... But, as I said, you can't kill them yet. Because... For cash, because yeah. they... Well, you can't kill them yet because they need to be there for the second part. And if you kill them, then it would break the game or something. So they didn't think of just having them Reappear respawn, now. like despawning yeah. everything that exists and then respawning them. Yeah, I mean, like maybe it wasn't possible or something, I don't know. I don't know, maybe it's just too tightly packed on the disk and they couldn't spare the one instruction, but I don't know. Yeah, one code of respawn. Or maybe it would look oh, yeah. really weird, maybe it would look really weird when you do it, I don't know. Could be. Well, there's a bird, man. A bird! A bird with a I like monocle. Birds. birds are cool. Birds are important and cool. That too. I was having a little bit of a discussion earlier about uh, crows. Can't believe it! She must have been working with Arpeggio all along! I don't need to study those photos to see the writing on the wall. Clearly, Neela and Arpeggio have conspired together to rebuild Clockwork, and it looks like they're dangerously close to realizing their goal. Look, Bentley, I know it's not your style, but I need a quick plan of attack. Try to think of a way, any way, to stop Clockwork from getting reassembled. Well, those magnetic inducers seem to be holding the parts together. If you reverse their polarity, it should pull Clockwork apart. Unfortunately, the inducer speed control station is locked down tight. Pickpocket keys for the four patrolling guards to get at it. Then you'll need to manually reverse the polarity of each inducer deck at the top of their rotation. Reverse the polarity. This is technical. This is also at science. At the top of their rotation? What does it matter if it rotates anyway? Uh, well, we can't stand on the you know, the platforms, unless you're at the top. Because you're flat on the top, that's why. No, I thought it, it said, like, at the top of their rotation. Yeah, because at the top of the rotation, it's where it's flat. I mean, well, like, on the back of the inducers. Oh, right, you mean, like, at the ro they rotate uh, on their axis, not just around the room. I see. So, yeah, so we have to, like, wait until they're on the top. Yeah, so see this this guy was this guard was one I stole coins of earlier, so that's why he only has a key now. Again, it's really weird. Also these bears are are unnecessary, you don't need them at all. Not even to hide in, really. Now get to the speed control station. 
station to slow down the spinning inducer. Oh god damn it. Like I always think that I can grab that from jumping over the edge like that, but it doesn't work. Clunk. Yes, I like that they're actual padlocks. <laughs> It's exactly how you lock down a... And it's not just a metaphorical key. Mm -hmm. Well, like, would be like one giant padlock with four locks. Yeah, that could also happen, but still, it's just four padlocks. Very scientific. Mm -hmm. How many... how many other? I see at least three. There are four. You can tell by the number in the uh, oh, right. Oh, uh, yeah, I... Yeah, okay. <laughs> I, I'm not dumb. <laughs> this is not too hard, really. You just Me. fly up, press button, fly up, press button. Yeah, the hardest part is trying to get to those in time. And yeah, that's kind of annoying sometimes, but we can play around on the ropes for a moment. Look at him, look at him, so dumb. Oh, I like I like the detail, how he's carrying his staff in his mouth. I like how, like, when I've been, like, slowing down frames for the Battle Hunt videos, I can, like, tell how he, like, drops the cane and then picks it up. That's also kind of nice animation. Like, he just suddenly drops it and it's in his cane. Oh, oh mission done. Nothing's gonna happen now. What's all this then? The magnets have been reversed. Hey, but by Jove, it seems to have locked the clockwork parts into place. Excellent. <laughs> Sly Cooper, of course this would be your doing. Ah, Mr. Cooper, no doubt you believed a reversal would pull the old bird apart, eh? <laughs> but it seems to have had quite the opposite effect. I'm truly grateful. When fully powered up, I'll join myself to its circuit and be born anew. All this because you can't fly. You're pathetic. Immortality! Immortality is what I seek. The other Claw Gang members were much too short-sighted. They were satisfied using the clockwork parts to drive their various trivial schemes. But not me. No. I saw them for what they really were. The keys to life eternal. So, what? You had Neela put me on the scent back in Cairo, and then waited while I stole the parts from the other Claw Gang members. All the while not arousing any suspicion that you were behind it all? You make it sound easy, Koopa. I had to carry your pathetic gang through that first set of heists. I was overjoyed when Arpeggio let me toss you in jail. I could finally go after the parts myself. Ah, but acquiring all the parts was only half the equation. Think, Koopa, what kept Clockwork alive for thousands of years? He was fueled by his hatred for my family. Splendid! That's right! Hatred! Putting his gears and wires together was child's play, compared with accumulating that much hatred. You can't make people hate. Oh, my poor naive boy. My meticulous mind has found a way. As your hippopotamus friend will attest, spice consumption makes you both angry and susceptible to hypnosis. The Contessa, Hypnotist extraordinaire devised a way to command people through the use of flashing lights. I've created this blimp to be a massive transmitter of those precise light frequencies. The only problem I faced was finding a suitable source of light waves. The Northern Lights. You've been collecting Northern Light energy so you could hypnotize everyone beneath the blimp. Ah. Hypnotize those who'd eaten food covered in illegal spice. Thank goodness for Dimitri. Through his nightclub, he got the whole city to consume the spice. You're going to Paris to unleash a hypnotic light show of hate. 
That's outlandishly cruel. Cruel, perhaps, but necessary to give clockwork a spark of immortality. Oh no, my new body awaits me. Be a dear, Mila, and keep him covered. Ta-ta! Stupid arpeggio. I double-crossed the Koopa guy, Interpol, and Carmelita. What made you think I wouldn't do the same to you? This is preposterous. You're my protege, not the next candidate for my immortality. I demand you exit the clockwork frame or... or... As we all know, things are looking grim. Neela has joined herself to the clockwork frame and the Union has produced Clockla. She's out and free to terrorize the world. This blimp is still in motion to Paris. I can only assume Arpeggio's autopilot will activate the hate hypnosis light show. If that happens, there will be no stopping Clockla. She'll be immortal. But we still have a chance. In her new form, she'll need to draw a lot of energy from this blimp's engines to stay strong. If we can disable the engines, that should be enough to weaken her to a state in which we can attack. Getting at these engines will require all three of us to work together in perfect harmony. We've pulled off some tough jobs in the past. But they were just a warm-up round for what we'll be going through tonight. <laughs>